Wednesday, November 18th. This is Colossians chapter 2, beginning at verse 4. I am telling you this so no one will deceive you with well-crafted arguments. For though I am far away from you, my heart is with you. And I rejoice that you are living as you should and that your faith in Christ is strong. And now, just as you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord, you must continue to follow him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught and you will overflow with thankfulness. Don't let anyone capture you with empty philosophies and high sounding nonsense that comes from human thinking and from the spiritual powers of this world rather than from Christ. For in Christ lives all the fullness of God in a human body. So you also are complete through your union with Christ, who is the head over every ruler and authority. As I record this, the result of the American election is in doubt. In doubt because although one candidate has won the required number of votes, the current president, Donald Trump, is disputing the results. He tweets about fraud and the election being stolen and has even seemed to encourage people to be out on the streets or to question in their states whether or not the result is fair. He refuses to concede. Now this presidency has been marred, in my opinion, by the way in which it has called truth into question. I have no doubt that the media wields power sometimes and sometimes it is not always as healthy as it might be. But to simply declare something as false or true and to expect people to believe you and accept your word without evidence, without trust, well, it is a strange world we're living in. What is truth? In that passage from Colossians I love the verse, let your roots grow down into him and let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught and you will overflow with thankfulness. It is such a privilege to be people of faith that can rely on truth that can rely on the truth of the gospel, that can rely on the truth of God's word. But we live in a world that questions everything. So how do we live in such a way that our lives reflect the truth we have been taught? How do we ensure that our roots go down deep and our faith stays strong because we're building on foundations that cannot be broken. Well, take a look at these pictures. How delicate are those flowers? If you were to take one of those petals in your hand, you could crush it hardly without trying. And yet those plants have found their way through concrete, determined to reach the sun. This is an image for us to think about. In the world in which we live, where every truth is questioned, we must be determined to reach the sun, to find the cracks 
in society, to find the cracks in people's arguments and to hold on rooted in truth until we reveal the beauty of the gospel. The beauty of our relationship with Jesus that can overcome anything. This is our task. I pray that your church, that you, your faith can find a way to grow into the darkest spaces, to reveal beauty in the darkest corners of your neighbourhood, can get under the skin of the most complicated people you know and show Jesus as truth by revealing the strength of your faith, the depth of your roots and the beauty that is revealed in a relationship with Jesus. This is my prayer for us all. Of course, if you have a garden like mine, you may have been tending it over lockdown and you may be greatly impressed with the results when you have time to pay attention to it. But if you also have a garden like mine, you know that the weeds are as persistent and as capable of growing through cracks in the concrete as are those beautiful flowers. So alongside my prayer for your roots and your determination, my prayer is also that you keep an eye out for the weeds that desire to grow through your cracks, your doubts, your bad habits, your lack of attention. While we are determined to grow truth, let us be aware and awake and alert to the root that would take hold in our lives, our lives, and let stamp them out, nip them in the bud, literally, so that they never take hold and strangle the beauty that is within us in Christ. May your inner garden grow magnificently. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.